Hello Blender artists, today is a wonderful day of blending. This whole week you can get some paid add-ons for free, one each day, because it's Blender Market's 10th birthday. This is the most popular, if not the only market for Blender add-ons, so they have a lot. They are keeping the next free add-on a secret with a hint of crowd control. Hopefully it's one of the popular crowd simulation add-ons like procedural crowds or population. Fingers crossed. Make sure to subscribe, I will update you before they switch them back to paid. But that's not all. I looked for more free add-ons that you could use. The first one we're going to look at is Easy HDI. This add-on lets you load all your HDRI images into the add-on so that you can just search or browse through them directly inside Blender. My favorite feature of Easy HDRI is that you can cycle through the different backgrounds to change how your scene is lit and looks. This add-on does a lot of heavy lifting, like setting up all the necessary nodes so that if you want to rotate, scale, or change the type of your HDRI, you just use sliders and buttons. If free is what you want, do not skip the next add-on, which is Thangs. There are millions of free 3D models available on the internet. You are allowed to use them in any way, but they are all scattered all over the internet. Thangs is the only add-on that will let you search download, and import them directly into your viewport. Never design anything from scratch or let your renders look empty. These models are well made with materials, textures, and correct proportions. The add-on also gives you a nice preview of what you are getting so as not to waste your time. If you skip this, don't blame me for not meeting your deadlines. At number three, we have an add-on that lets you generate millions of particles at high velocity, making it look like realistic rain. This rain can create splashes, water puddles, and more with just a few clicks. What we have on our list of free add-ons as number four is not really an add-on, but still quite impressive. This is a free rolling rock wall for anyone who wants to create a magic effect or simply wants a wall. This is made with geometry nodes, so yes, it's fully procedural. You can control almost all its parameters, including the rolling effects. It simply looks amazing, and it's also free. PBR Library Add-on. This next add-on brings all the PBRs you could ever ask for, from leather, marble, trees, grass, carpet, wood, and more. You also have categories like windows, rock, wood, stylized tiles, and more. Every scene needs a landscape to sit on or as its background. This free terrain add-on at number six is just perfect. It is a powerful and easy to use tool that lets you turn any low poly mesh into realistic and customizable terrain. You can use it to create mountains, valleys, islands, deserts, forests, and more. You can also adjust the shape, size, height, and detail of your terrain with simple sliders and inputs. It also comes with a smart material that adapts to the terrain and gives it a natural look. You can swap the colors, textures, and lighting of your material to suit your needs. You can also mix and match different materials to create unique effects. Real-Time Material Pack V2. This collection of real-time materials just looked fascinating to me. They look realistic and stylized as well. It's a nice blend which makes them look magical, and since they are free, you can turn them into whatever you want. If you are an anime fan, here is a free Rain and Splashes project file. And if you want to learn how to make this effect yourself, Tawan Sunflower has a full tutorial breaking down the scene from scratch. I'm sure you will learn a lot from this. This Drop It add-on at number 9 is a free add-on that lets you place objects easily in your scene. You can stack them on top of each other or randomly place them by their bottom or origin. The add-on supports collision detection to avoid objects going through each other uh, making your placement look professional, which is all we want to do. This add-on can help you make your objects look old. I know that's a big thing in the real world, but in the imaginary world we live in, that's all we ask for, for our renders to look imperfect with rough reflections, dirt, worn out areas, and this add-on gives it to you. Now spread your objects using the last add-on in this list. Just scatter them everywhere, uh, without any fear using this add-on. 
There is not much to say about this one, except that you can use it to randomize the position, rotation, and scale of your objects.